What's going on YouTube? This is the Common Sense Professor here, and today I am excited about talking to you about an amazing car that could be the answer from transitioning from fossil fuels to electricity. But nobody is buying this car. Many of you watching this video have probably never even heard of this car. AAA did a study recently and found two barriers keeping people from buying EVs. One is the lack of infrastructures, and the other is the cost of the EVs. Now, what if I told you that there is a car on the market that won the 2018 Green Car of the Year by Green Car Journal, the 2018 Edmunds Most Innovative Car of the Year Award, California's 2018 Air Quality Award for Corporate Environmental Stewardship, Cars.com 2019 Eco-Friendly Car Award, the 2019 Motor Week Driver's Choice Award for the Best Eco-Friendly Vehicle, and the Kelly Blue Book's 2018 and 2019 Best Buy Awards because it has superb five-year cost-to-own figures and it's one of the top finishers in Best Resale Value Award. All of these awards and nobody is buying this car. The sales have been dismal for this car, but this actually could be a good thing for you if you do your homework. Now the car that I'm talking about is the 2018-2019 Honda Clarity Plug-in Hybrid. Honda really answered the call with a practical, reasonably priced, fully loaded plug-in hybrid that has as much room as a Honda Accord, gets enough electrical range to satisfy most people's daily commutes, switches to gas on long trips so you don't have to worry about range anxiety, and for those who qualify, it also gets a $7,500 tax incentive, which makes it more affordable than many traditional combustion engine cars. I actually own this car. I bought it about five months ago, and I'm just going to be honest with you, I cannot stop saying enough good things about this car. One of the advantages is that, since most people have never heard of the Clarity, I got an amazing deal on last year's model. I'll explain more about this towards the end of the video. Now one thing I will not be doing in this video is reviewing my car. I added a couple of links to descriptions to two very in-depth reviews. PRN Reviews did a fantastic job with their review. They call the Clarity the gold standard for FEVs. The other review is from Alex on Autos, and he called the car the best plug-in hybrid in America. Please take a moment and check out these videos. Now I want to address the one issue that most reviews state as the biggest drawback of the Clarity. The looks. Let me start by saying that I personally have gotten nothing but compliments about how awesome this car looks and most people will not be able to tell this car from a Civic or a Cord on the road because there are quite a bit of similarities in the styling. I always tell people that this car is kind of like a Toyota Prius, a Honda Accord, and a Tesla got together and had a baby. The one feature that nobody likes in reviews is the rear skirt. And yes, it's a little quirky, but honestly, I don't even notice this anymore. The Honda engineers had one thing in mind when designing the Clarity, and that's aerodynamics. And because of this, it means that you get longer range in EV mode and more MPGs in HV mode. But honestly, here's the thing that amazes me so much about people who don't like the looks of the Clarity. What about the Toyota Prius Prime? That is the quirkiest looking car on the road, and other than MPGs and hybrid mode, the Clarity blows the car away in other features. It all comes down to this. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and honestly, I like the looks of the Clarity. One thing that really helped the looks of my car is by tinting the windows. This really gave the car a more sporty, sleek look. So let's dive into the price of this car. I want to share with you all how I got such a great deal. First, the Clarity only comes in two models, and I consider both models to be fully equipped. Most of the reviews that you see on YouTube are the Touring Edition. I chose the base model because I just could not justify the extra $4,000 for the extra features. The Touring Edition in the US gives buyers leather seats, navigation, a leather wrapped steering wheel, suede inserts on the dash door panels, and electric seats. And that's on the US model only. The Canadian model does not have electric seats. As you can see in my car, the base seats look, I think, pretty nice and are wrapped in a nice fake leather material. Also, the same material is used on the dash and door panels in place of the suede. Let me just say that I never was a fan of the suede, so this was actually a plus for me on the base model. Now, both cars come with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so honestly, navigation is really pointless. 
The only feature that I really miss is the electric driver's seat, having an electric seat, but this just was not worth the extra $3,000 for me. So the base model's MSRP is $33,400, while the Touring is $36,600. Both models include safety features like Honda Sensing, which includes the collision mitigation braking system, the road departure mitigation system, adaptive cruise control, and lane keep assist. Honda Sensing will keep the clarity in between lines and will drive itself for short distances. Now, don't take this out of context. I'm not saying this is the same thing as Tesla self-driving. It is not. Keep in mind also about the Honda is that it uses cameras mounted on the windshield to identify painted lines on the road. At intersections, when these lines disappear, I've actually had the car to swerve because it could not find the lines. Long story short, if you're using Honda Sensing, always keep your hands on the wheel. Now there is one feature that comes with a Honda that I think is pretty annoying, and that's called Lane Watch. And so when you turn on your right turn signal, a camera that is mounted on the right side mirror turns on so that you can see cars in the right lane. The reason this is so annoying is because it actually turns off your screen every time you use your right turn signal. I actually turn this off and the camera only comes on when I manually push the button at the end of the turn signal. Okay, so now to the price, the bottom line. I bought a last year's model, brand new 2018 Honda Clarity that sat on the lot that only had 7 miles on it. Since most people have never heard of the Clarity, the dealer is ready to get it off their lot. So I did quite a bit of research and I actually had two other Clarities at different dealers that I could have bought for close to the same price. I actually talked the dealer down to $26,200. Since I qualified for the $7,500 tax rebate, that brings the total price of my Clarity down to $18,700 out the door. Now remember, that is for a fully loaded car, minus obviously the electric seats. And on top of this, according to energyright.com, if I drive the car for 15,000 miles at the current low gas prices, I will save $6,700 in fuel cost over five years compared to my other vehicle. This actually reduces the total cost of the Clarity down to $12,000. All this, and I own a no compromise, award-winning, fully loaded car that is really fun to drive. So when you look at all the other plug-in hybrids on the market, there is not one that comes close to the Clarity in my opinion. The Chevy Volt was the closest to the Clarity in specs. The Volt actually had a longer range but wasn't as efficient as the Clarity. Besides that, the fact that Chevy no longer makes the Volt, it's actually not even on the market. My college has a Volt that I ride in quite often and I have to sit sideways in the back seat because there is absolutely no legroom or headroom in that car. The Volt is a great car for two people, but if you have more than two, you better hope that they are children. There is also the Toyota Prius Prime and the Hyundai Ioniq. Both of these cars have a smaller battery pack and only qualify for a $4,500 tax rebate. You can also only travel under 30 miles on a charge. They do get better gas mileage, but these cars are geared more towards the hybrid side than the electric side. Now the bad news is that Honda just announced that you can order a Clarity from any Honda dealership, but they actually moved all their invoice to car lots in California. This is really a shame because this is such an amazing car. Okay, so what do you think about this video? Do you have a Honda Clarity or another plug-in hybrid that you'd like to comment below about? I want to hear from you. Please let me know what you think. Thank you for watching this video and please subscribe and hit the notification button to watch similar videos in the future. Three, two, one.